Hey guys, welcome back to Move Before Us, and today we second Shazam! Whoa, sorry, I forgot to do that earlier. So guys, welcome back to RBR, and today we are looking at the first ever tuning company that we've ever looked at on the channel, and it's going to be the start of many. Sorry, I think the thunder has started a bit of rain. And today we are looking at Urban Automotive, and specifically, their brand new G700S based on AMG's G63 of the new generation. So to give you a bit of background, Urban Automotive actually starts in 2003 under a different name, Nürburg. Now obviously that was inspired by the ring, so these guys are petrol heads in their DNA. And they were first well known for taking Land Rover Defenders and tuning them and making them more powerful and more interesting looking. That was their first real success and since then, they've become pretty infamous for taking JLR product and making it look even more special. One of the best examples of Urban's work today is the Discovery. So you can see if we take a standard Discovery and we apply Urban's own design language to it, just how exciting what would normally just be a company car has become. It's now a luxurious looking car that's up there with kind of the SVR type design language in my opinion. And you can see with this V2 style as they put on, for example, for the Range Rover SVR, there's a very signature style to Urban, and that's the front slats of the air intakes with these very predominantly straight lines and extensive use of carbon fiber. And the entire look is finished off with different wheel designs, all designed by Urban in-house. So all their body styling, all their wheels are designed by them themselves here in the UK. But as I said, carbon fiber plays a big part, and that's because Urban have their own carbon fiber manufacturing company. And they did not want to create just plastic or fiberglass or just cheaper components and slap them onto very expensive cars. They wanted to go a step further than anyone else and create every single body panel with carbon fiber. In recent history, they've also done the new Bentley Bentayga and had their own take on it. Now, whatever you feel about that car, the urban one will certainly stand out and it's for that ilk of customer, but today, Today is about the G63. So today we have G Urban's G700 S, and it is a wide body G, in case you can't see it from that angle. It is very wide body. And it's been designed, as I said, completely in the UK by Urban Automotive. But to show you exactly what they've done, I want to take the standard G63 in the exact same color and configuration, and we are gonna take that car and apply the Urban thing so you understand exactly what's going into this. So now with the body parts removed, what we're going to do is install first the front bumper, which is much wider and it is completely made of carbon fiber. I want to show you the inside of this bumper. You can see all of it is created in carbon fiber. Urban insists on using the OEM mounts from the original bumper and all the electronics within their own body kits. And the bumpers are completely designed to work with every single of Mercedes-Benz's safety features and all the tech for cruise control, distance regulation, self-driving, etc. So you will see some panels are made of different materials to allow the sensors to function. Because it's all carbon fiber, just look how light it is as well. They only weigh about one-tenth compared to the standard parts. And it really is a beautiful job on the carbon fiber. Just look at the way the weave is all in the right direction. It's completely smooth. Every line is perfect. The craftsmanship, you have to see it up close. And that's not something that you will say about a lot of tuners. Most of them won't want you to get close to their cars. Whereas the finishing here, both on the carbon and on the paintwork, I was absolutely amazed by. It is a fantastic job. So that is the front bumper installed now. It's all carbon fiber. It looks gorgeous. Um, then you have the wheel arches. These are, of course, widened because this car is wider. But they've taken pains to make sure that the OEM design is replicated, just made wider. And again, the inside of the wheel arch, if I show you, it's using the same components as the OEM one, just reattached to Urban's own one. And the entire thing is carbon fiber, even the painted part. And to me, I really like the arches. I think the arches are my favorite bit. They look OEM, they make the car that much wider, that much more aggressive looking than the standard G. But of course now the wheels are looking weird. Now recently Urban have 
made a partnership with Vossen Wheels in the USA. So now you have three different types of urban wheel that you can have on the G-Wagon. So we're gonna start with these ones. The, there are no spaces on this. It is the wheel offset that is in fact larger. So that of course, technically it works a lot better and it's a lot safer. Then you've got the side sills. Again, everything carbon fiber. I think the motto, there must be somewhere on, on the urban offices inside where it just says carbon fiber everything. So you've got carbon on the side sills there as well, including the end caps, which are cut by hand to make sure that they're absolutely perfect and sit properly on the OEM side sills for the G. And then you'll notice the exhaust. Now there is a new exhaust system on this G-Wagon from Urban, and it's just the rear part of the exhaust, the back box, and I'll show you what that sounds like later because it's one of my favorite bits. Now before we completely retreat to the rear, there is also carbon on the front of the car on the roof with some lights and there's lights there and there's lights at the bottom of the front bumper. And I'll show you what those look like when you turn them on. I think this harkens a bit to the Barabbas styling from what I've seen, but it looks good. And again, the carbon fiber just looks amazing. Come around to the back and this is the first sign that you will get of the Urban logo, which is funny because if you look at all of the rest of Urban's products, they tend to have Urban written where the uh, Land Rover badges and in a few other places, Whereas I think that they've gone out of their way to make sure that there's more Mercedes and AMG knowing that ilk of customer on this car rather than putting urban badges everywhere. Anyway, on the rear, we've got a carbon fiber wheel cover replacing the OEM one. Again, it just looks amazing. And I love how urban is in the body color of the car. And then of course, we're gonna add the rear bumper now. And that again, it's all carbon fiber. And I'm gonna show you some close-ups again, all made in the same way, all fitting perfectly and then you have this huge rear spoiler and whereas I could fit my own G63 when I had it comfortably in my carport here this one I'm not going to risk it I think it's that much too big because of the rear spoiler so overall you can see that that V2 styling that they started with the Range Rover Sport has been applied pretty successfully on this G-Wagon but it also feels a bit more OEM plus and I think it harkens a bit more back to the old G55 just wider. Now Urban had started off originally getting, getting rid of the Panamericana grille and they had the classic style straight one but I like the fact that they listened to feedback and they left the Panamericana grille on here because it is important to AMG customers like me. Now you can vary the spec of the G700S quite a lot so exa for example uh, you could go completely black and I'm glad we don't have a black car because you can really appreciate the body parts. But you could, for example, not have a black cap grill. You could have the OEM chrome grill, which is something I would do. On the wheels, instead of those center caps, perhaps MB ones might look better in place. The wheels are one area where if there was something a bit more of MB's design, I as a customer would have been happier. But you can get other designs. So I wanna show you the turbine ones, which were inspired by the SLR. And these are quite interesting because on this side, they're designed differently compared to the other side because they're always spinning in the same direction. So I like that little detail. And that third wheel there is the final option you can have. I quite like the ones out of those that we have on this car, however. The G700S, as with all Urban products, is the brainchild of Urban boss Simon Dern. And he wanted this to be more OEM plus, as we said, compared to his, say, JLR product. And I think when you look at the car, it does achieve that. And I hope I can show you some angles just to show how wide this looks, yet it doesn't seem to look out of place. When you look at the standard G63, and as I said in our massive review that we did to celebrate 40 years, this G63 is a bit soft on the front end and you really need the bull bars, which aren't available in all markets, to make it look more aggressive. And I think that's part of the new design language 4G. So if you want a more aggressive looking car, you're gonna to have to go to someone like Urban or Barabbas to do it. And I think Urban have done a really good job of making this OEM Plus without going too crazy. Now that's not all they've done. They've also attended to the engine. So the engine has had a simple map, which has put the horsepower up to 700 brake horsepower and an extra 150 Newton meters of torque. What that's gonna feel like, we are gonna see very shortly as I get on the road. But before then, as I said, sound is one of my favorite bits because this car has a slightly different exhaust. So let me jump in and show you what this car sounds like with the urban exhaust on it. So guys, inside the G700S, as you can see, it's pretty much all standard AMG, but the exhaust is different. So I wanna show you what it sounds like. Ah, 
That was just comfort with the exhaust button off. But it still sounds AMG, so I think because they've only played with the rear, it's not affecting like the tune that is signature AMG. Now, let us try that again, but this time in Sport Plus. How exciting is that? Especially for an AMG nutcase. Sound is so important. And I put it back into comfort. I just want to show you what the revs are like with the flaps closed and just in comfort. I love that, it's so powerful sounding. Then you go into Sport Plus and... <laughs> It just sounds absolutely mental, but that pales in comparison to the joy you get from driving this from the sound when you're on the road. So I want to show you three specific elements on the road. So let's explore this G700S now. So guys, we are in the G700S on our usual roads, and there's really three areas that I really want to focus on on this particular urban automotive version. One is the road presence and the looks of the car because so much of what's been done here is to accentuate the crazy looks of the G63. The second bit is the sound because as we said there's a new exhaust system in this car and a lot of that ownership experience in an AMG is all about sound experience. So we're going to look at that. And then the final bit is daily usability because that is again very important in a five-seater G63. Now, of course, it is 40 years for the G-Wagon. Happy birthday, G. I think the rest of us can only pray that we're that much better than our younger selves at the age of 40 because this brand new G63 is a completely different animal to the old car. Now, if you haven't seen my original review of the G63 and the G-Wagon, the new G-Wagon, it was probably the best ever video that we've done on Remove Before. We went all through the history of 4x4s and Mercedes-Benz, but more crucially, we compared both the old G63 and the new one back to back on the road. There is no other video that does it so directly. So if you guys haven't seen that, it's really important that you watch that before you see this Urban G-Wagon, because it's gonna give you a flavor of how much better the new G63 is compared to the old one. Now with this Urban version of the G, like I said, road presence is so important. We have got a 30 mil wider car on each side with this brand new carbon fiber body kit. And I personally really find the look of this particular upgrade quite classy compared to what I've seen in other tuning houses. It seems to be more of an OEM plus, but it still has that distinctive urban look as we discussed in the walk around. But it's less that we can do all the walk around and give you slow shots, etc. It's more about just how incredible this thing looks when it's on the move. And I think it really comes down to the stance of it, that extra wide track, the 23-inch Vossen urban wheels, those gigantic air intakes sparkling in carbon fiber alongside the big Panamericana AMG grille. When you see it on the road, it really gives you the feel of the 4x4 squared, the G500 squared. As far as the looks goes, it's really got the presence nailed down. And I think that's 50%, if not more, of the battle won for the type of customer who's going to be buying this car. And just the way that it looks so intimidating on the road, they've really nailed the looks in this mind. Now, part of road presence in something like this is the sound. I'm only in comfort mode and so far it's been pretty loud as you guys have seen and this is one of those cars where I don't even need the exhaust button on. You still don't need that to get a decent tune out of this car but it's just the cherry on top which is great. But like I said that's just comfort, let's put it into Sport Plus. I'm going to go through the gears now.
that's kind of what you want. You want like AMG Plus. And while the tune that's playing is quite similar to the standard G63, you've got that much more volume. The bangs are decidedly louder than the standard G63. I like it. It's like I don't like exhaust systems that change the manufacturer's OEM tune if it's especially a nice tune like AMG. Um, this just makes it seem like it's a model above the G63. Like you're driving a GTR versus a GTS, that's kind of the feeling I get out of this G700S. You know, and that's when you're driving fast, if you're just in Sport Plus going around town. That's the type of thing that AMG drives to do to the Look at the sound you're getting out of this. I must stress this decibel higher than the G63. It kind of gives you the upshot of driving a G63 that's only going to net you about 11 mpg. But that's what you want, you don't care about the fuel consumption, you want some mad sound and some crazy looks. Now although the performance is very similar to the G63 that we tried previously, um, this is on a wider track as we said, does it feel any different because of that and the wheels? Um, I don't think so, what you certainly get thanks to that near 700 brake horsepower is the traction control light going absolutely crazy when you're trying to put power down. But you're kind of half expecting that when you've got 700 horsepower in the G63. And it is very scary. Oh my god, hello. Corner. Although well, scary, it's perhaps not as intimidating as I thought it was going to be. It's still pretty usable. Um, I think if it was bumped up anymore, you'd start having problems. But <laughs> this is seriously fun on these windy roads. But yeah, there's loads of roll, there's loads of kind of understeer coming in. But it's fun. It's not like the old G63. So we know this has got 700-ish brake horsepower. Um, do you feel that difference compared to the standard G? I think you definitely do. Um, I'm quite fascinated to see how that's going to do in terms of 0 to 60 or just a launch. Let's see how the car puts down the power. There's no launch control as such in this, so we're just going to do a clean break to see how the car puts down the power. It's like you're reining in a wild animal. I mean, much like the standard G63, but it's a bit more exaggerated because, of course, there's that much power going down on the wheels with this urban version. The car kind of swings left and then it swings right, and you're trying to correct it and that's with all the traction stuff still on so it's a, it's a pretty intimidating but fun experience you can't help but giggle I do love the sound and yes you do you feel the actual power you do I don't think it's unusable and that brings me on to kind of daily driving now so if we go back into comfort with the exhaust on this is how I've been driving it myself around town I'm not the type of idiot to make noise and draw attention to myself and in that sense, when you're driving this G63 by Urban, it's just like the normal G63, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want to be driving around in something that is already loud on the outside. You know, it's de-chromed, it's got massive 23-inch wheels, wide-body kit. I don't need it to be bunny-hopping down the road because it's got too much power, or to sound like a boy racer going down South Hall's Broadway. Um, this doesn't do that. It's nice and gentlemanly about the way it goes about just being a normal Mercedes-Benz in comfort mode. And I like the fact that they've kept comfort mode as it is in the standard G63. Very usable, as responsive as it is, it does not bunny hop, it doesn't feel like you've suddenly turned comfort into Sport or Sport Plus. It's a good mode, you still get the cylinder deactivation down to four cylinders instead of eight if you're driving sensibly, which you usually aren't in this car. As I said in the G63 review, it's got some of the most comfortable suspension in any AMG, as you would expect. So you can have it in Sport Plus suspension for a bit more dynamics in just daily driving. And it's not going to judder you. It doesn't feel bad. And the 23-inch Vossens have hardly made any difference at all in the way that the car rides on the road. So it's nice. It's got that duality that AMGs do. So you can just drive normally or stick into Sport Plus. Pull all the power down. Expect out of a G-Wagon. So 
gonna sum this up, we've got a terrifying addition of more power in this car up to 700 brake. You've got a wider all carbon body kit, completely unnecessary. You've got a louder exhaust, completely unnecessary. Everything's unnecessary in this car. But it makes the G63 that much more exciting. Now my own G63, I love the car, I absolutely love it. It's a Mercedes icon, it's an AMG icon. But I'm more of a coupe guy, I'm more on the side of Bond than Bond villain. And I don't really miss that car having sold it. But this, I think I'll miss it because it's more on the AMG side of the scale. And that's so important, isn't it? So guys, I've had great fun in this. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and listening to it. As I said, it's our first tune review. I've really enjoyed it. If you have as well, please do like, subscribe, share this video as well. And as always, I've got a couple more days. I'm going to enjoy myself.